welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a get ready with me. This video has been requested forever. I just never really have the time to film it just because I don't get ready every single day. But it's the weekend, Chris is home, and I can actually show you um, how I get ready filming um, without like little babies pulling all over me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to be sharing um, my skincare routine my sunless tanning routine, my teeth whitening routine, um, as well as just like which products I use. I'm gonna do my hair as well as my makeup, and I hope that you enjoy. First, I'm gonna start off with what skincare I use. So I use Colleen Rothschild. I've been using it for like a little over a month now. Um, they reached out to me to partially sponsor this video, but I have been using their products for like I said, like about a month now, and I love them. I always get like really nice compliments on my skin, and I just want to acknowledge that I use a light for my videos, and the lights help make your skin look more clear, but I actually do have like problematic skin. Um, I don't really get breakouts right now um, with the pregnancy hormones, and like the first trimester, a lot of you know, like my skin was breaking out like crazy. But since then, my hormones have calmed down a little bit. I'm in the third trimester. And I have been using this Colleen Rothschild. They have like um, a skincare line for like every type of issue, skin issue. But mine is dry skin. That's like where I'm at with my pregnancy. My skin is super dry. I have been using the Radiant Cleansing Balm. And this is really nice because, first of all, like I said, I've been using it for a month now and there's barely a dent in it. You just need a tiny little bit and you rub it in your hands to warm it up and then you put it on your dry skin and then rinse it off with a washcloth. So what this cleansing balm does, it's super gentle, it's very creamy and what it does is like remove, it removes your makeup, it removes impurities, unclogs your pores, it has some really nice oils in it to not leave your skin super dry which is where I'm at. Um, if you follow me you know that on Instagram, my whole family has had a super bad virus which consisted of constantly blowing your nose and stuff. So my skin is even extra dry because I've had to have gone through at least three boxes of tissues. So this is the cleansing balm. I've already used it. I just got out of the shower. I can see my hair is wet. Um, and then after that, I use this oil. This oil is life-saving, especially for my skin. Again, you can see there's barely any missing out because it's super... Um, what's the word, like concentrate it so you only need a couple of drops, it goes a long way. So this is after cleansing, you gently massage three to four drops onto your face or neck. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Um, this is called face oil number nine. It combines nine transformative oils that provide an intense moisture boost and deeply nourish thirsty skin and leave your complexion radiant after the first application. And I know that you don't have to use this every day, but I have been using it again because my skin is just insanely dry. I also have um, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, so that's like a hypothyroid condition, and it leaves your skin really dry. It also makes your hair fall out. Luckily, I've been okay with that. So first I'm just gonna rub this in, and you see I apply it to this part first because this is where I'm so dry. Like, I literally have skin peeling. I'm gonna put some on my nose too. I feel like I'm going to need to put like a ton of moisturizer on and just let that sit for a little bit before I go ahead and put my makeup on just because like I said my skin is peeling everywhere from the tissues. This smells really good too. It feels so nice to be able to breathe again. <laughs> okay so now that that is on I'm going to go ahead and use my lotion or cream. This is called Extreme Recovery Cream. Again, this is intensive care for dehydrated skin. Provides maximum levels of continuous moisture while strengthening the hydrolipid barrier. And this is supposed to help um, signs of fine lines and wrinkles and even out skin tone. You gently massage it into a cleansed face and neck for optimal results. Layer over your choice of co um, Colleen Rothschild Treatment Complex can be used morning and night. And I do use I use it after every time I get out of the shower. So again with these skincare products they are super concentrated so you don't need a ton of it look after a month of use to twice a day so i really love that about this i hate when you have to use like a ton of product but you really don't need a lot with this you can see this is how much i'm using it's not a lot at all and i kind of just do this first again i apply to this area first because it's just so dry 
like insanely dry. My skin like is like sandpaper and I can only imagine what it would feel like if I didn't, if I have not been using this for a month. My skin actually already, just from putting that on, it feels so good. Um, I usually put it on instantly when I get out of the shower, like all of this stuff, when my pores are still open, but I decided last minute to film this. So I ran downstairs and got all my stuff from the camera, for the camera, um, to go ahead and film this. So my skin was like already getting peely by the time I just put everything on. But I like to put that on when my pores are open, that's huge. Also, what I have already done is um, I, I put my sunless tanner on. I'll show you that in a second. Um, I will tell you guys how I do it. I just don't feel comfortable like being like in a bathing suit or something, putting my sunless tanner on. Just, just not how I am. If you have done that, that is fine. I'm just not comfortable enough to show you guys right now like putting sunless tanner all over my body, but I'll show you what I use and I'll show you like how I apply it. Um, so then also, this is the last thing that I got from Colleen Rothschild, and you can see I've been using this as well. This is not like an everyday. This is the Intense Hydrating Mask. As you see, a theme here, all of my skincare products I ordered from her for hydration. Like I said, they have other things for problematic skincare. And when I posted this on my story on Instagram, like. A month ago when I first got it, I got a ton of DMs people being like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky, I love her brand. And I love it too, like I don't, I don't see not using this. Like I know that my skin will change postpartum, but like I just had really good luck with this skincare line. It's super sensitive skin, my skin is so sensitive. And I just want to stick with it. So this is formulated for long lasting moisture. Intense hydrating mask provides a boost of highly concentrated hydration to tight dry, rough or dehydrated skin. The balanced treatment helps strengthen elasticity, leaving skin with a youthful suppleness and radiance. So you can apply a generous even layer two to three times a week on a cleansed face and neck and leave on for 15 minutes and then you just tissue off the excess so like you don't rinse it off or anything. I'm out of breath because, because I'm so pregnant and because I like literally I still have like, I'm not finished this virus, it's been a week now. But today's like the first day that I can like kind of breathe. So yeah, I really, I really love all of this stuff. And like I said, you only need a tiny bit of this too. And also guys, of course I'll have a 20% off code. I'll have that linked below. I'll put it on screen here as well as I'll have everything you need in the description box below. But it's Tiffany20 for 20% off of any regular price product. And I'll also have the link to Colleen's website below again. I would never ever recommend anything to you that wasn't amazing, but I can't even tell you how different my skin feels already from putting that on to just now. Like, that's amazing. And I like that all of the ingredients are super safe um, and just like natural ingredients. So moving on, I'm gonna show you my sunless tanner. I didn't put it on my face. Again, my skin is super sensitive. I just use makeup to like compensate for putting sunless tanner on my face. Um, but this is St. Maria's Instant Self Tanning Mousse and I got it in dark and this is actually almost done. I need to get more, but I've been using this for a year, yeah, a year. And I know it's like nice and warm out, but like I said, we've been sick and before that was rainy, so I don't have any kind of like suntan to me at all. Um, I don't really like baking my skin in the sun anyway because it's horrible for you, but I like to use this because it's a safe alternative. And this is a tanning mousse. I also, if I'll have all the products to everything in this video linked below. Um, get the one that comes with the um, little glove because one, you're not gonna get sunless tanner all over your hands, and two, it just makes it like super, mine didn't really set in yet, but it makes it like super um, even, which is like a big deal with sunless tanning. So what I do is I exfoliate in the shower, I start, with the glove on my right hand, I put two pumps of mousse onto this, not onto my skin, because it will leave like a big dot on your skin and you don't want that. Put it on this, rub it all in, um, and then I do the other arm, and then, you know, two pumps each time I do an arm. I lift my arm up and make sure I get all under here, and then I start with my chest, and I do my belly, 
and then my legs the only thing I suggest is that you know use sparingly on your legs around your knees and around your ankles like any dry spots you can also put like some kind of lotion or cream on your knees or ankles or any dry spots and then go over it I just avoid the area completely and then at the end just use whatever's left on my glove on those spots this is also like eight dollars or less like it's super inexpensive and I absolutely love it also with the um, skincare line you can use that code until the end of the year so if you like want to think about it and then go purchase it it's really really good though and I love it this my sunless hand you guys ask me a lot about this also um, for my hair since it's already like done, I'm going to tell you what I used in it up until this point um, while it's wet. Number one, my roots are crazy. So I basically had um, dirty blonde hair growing up and I never wanted to let go of it. As I get older, my hair gets darker and darker and darker and my eyebrows get lighter. It's really annoying. If I could just have dark eyebrows and dark eyelashes, I would be happy. But no, it's like the opposite way around. So I use purple shampoo, um, every other shampoo, and I usually wash my hair um, too much, at least every other day. I can't go like more than that just because my hair gets like really greasy and gross. So I will have my purple shampoo links below. Um, I got it at Target. Um, so I use that like every other. And then for the, the times in between the purple shampoo, it just helps get like the golden brassy out of your hair. I used it today actually. Um, now that my sunless hand is dry, I can let my hair down. Um, so it just takes the gold out of blonde, the brassiness out. But you don't need it every single time because it will start to turn your hair like gray. So, not every time. In between the purple shampoo, I use, I don't actually have it. I use these two little guys. These are just the um, Argan Oil and Morocco. And I use the Coconut Milk Shampoo and the Argan Oil conditioner and I like both of these a lot these are like the tiny ones they do sell the big bottles but I like buying the smaller bottles to fit in my shower nicely I don't use conditioner every time I kind of like just like feel my hair out and see like if it really needs it but again I don't use it every time um, maybe every other or so but this is I have been using this at least for five years religiously honestly I used to have been using this for five years this is it's a 10 miracle leave-in treatment but this basically um, is like a spray conditioner so I you can use it with conditioner don't get me wrong but I don't like when my hair feels heavy so that's why sometimes I don't so I actually put like three sprays in my hand rub it in and then put it on the ends first and then move up and it's also a heat protectant so I feel like this has really saved my hair. And I'll just mention teeth whitening while we're here. Um, I, in the past, have used like other teeth whitening products, but I always just go back to the plain old Crest White Strips. And I don't use them like, you're supposed to use them, I think, for like a week straight, but my teeth are sensitive, so I don't use that. I literally just use like one randomly every once in a while when I feel like I need it. I'm a big coffee drinker. When I'm not pregnant, I love me some red wine, so. <laughs> Um, that's what I use and I don't have like a time frame when I use it if I just feel like I need like a layer of stain taken off I just use the good old classic um, white strips I'll have those linked below again everything I talk about I'll link them below so I done I've done my sunless tanning I have done um, my skincare routine and I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair now I told you I just use it's a 10 before I blow dry I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry and the, I like to blow dry my hair first before I do my makeup because I get hot and I don't want like my makeup melting off so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I'll show you my blow dryer and how I blow dry my so I'm plugging my blow dryer in and I just realized probably if you guys know me you know I am so scatterbrained like between pregnancy and um, mom brain and all that kind of stuff like and lack of sleep I just I forget what I'm talking about half the time but um, I never finished telling you about my roots. So the last time I got my hair done before Vegas, it's been a long time. My hair grows super fast too from my prenatals. But um, we tried to put like some low lights, kind of like an ombre type thing going on. It's not picking up that great on here. But we wanted to let my roots grow in more to kind of um, give my hair some depth and then go ahead and put some more low lights and more blonde. And my roots are really grown in. But my girl is away. <laughs> 
on vacation and she's not gonna be back for um until june 19th which is like after carter's birthday party and everything so you're gonna see me with some pretty big roots and i don't want to go anywhere else because i feel like we're in the middle of a project and like first of all i love her but i also feel like we're in the middle of a project with getting my hair to how i want it so i'll just deal with some roots for a little bit so you see i just pinned up half of my hair and this is my blow dryer i use hot tools professionals I love this one. It does have a bunch of attachments. I don't use them. And this, I showed this in my Target haul, round brush. And I also like to have like a paddle brush with me as well. And this is the Conair paddle brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. Like, do like the dry with like my hands. Once it gets more dry, I'll do the other stuff. I could always be the one you want to call when it's cold outside. I will always be the one that's right here, standing by your side. Open up your heart and let me in. I promise not to break you. I promise I'll be all, all that you want. So my curling wand um and i'll show you that as well but oh my god i'm sweating that was like seriously a workout i feel like if we had a blowout bar around here okay i'm all red from <laughs> and hot from blow drying my hair one it's summer but two i'm almost 29 weeks pregnant so anyway if there was a blow dry bar in my area or something like that i would totally get a like membership and treat myself for the rest of this pregnancy because my lord it is hot <laughs> anyway when i straighten my hair um i will link my i'll link my flat iron below as well as the um i use chi silk infusion serum and you just put a drop in your hand rub it in do the ends go up like this and then i section it and flat iron it like and curl it under you can see like my hair doesn't really when I blow dry it, it gets straight, but like kind of like poofy. I like it, the flat iron to like more close the cuticle and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to curl it today. One thing with the curling is that I feel like it lasts longer than a flat iron. So you don't have to wash your hair right away. I am getting kind of sad about my roots, but what can I do? Maybe I'll just wear a baseball hat until June 19th. But yes. I am going to go ahead and get my curling wand and start that process and some water. <laughs> okay, so the wand is um, is warming up. Let me tell you, I got the wand 
It comes with a glove. It's the Numi wand. Um, wear this glove. This wound right here, that's a scar from that. I also have a scar on my wrist from that. That thing is no joke. I'm kind of scared actually to make this video and be talking while I'm <laughs> wanding my hair because it's scary. Oh my gosh. So basically, I section my hair and then like at the end, I'll go back through like when it's all down and recurl like any pieces. Um, I feel like my hair is super soft right now. Um, so hopefully the curl stays well. Also, it's like kind of humid outside. I'm not how sure it'll stay. I kind of like it just to be like a loose wave anyway, kind of just giving me volume. But I really feel like this wand is life changing. Also, because I'm like super corny and I'm the queen of corny, which I don't care. I love being corny and I love corny people. But um, I have to just say this because I'm thinking it. I feel like you can be the most beautiful person on the outside, but inner beauty is what really, really matters, honestly. Because if you're pretty on the outside but ugly on the inside, I don't think you're pretty at all. Honestly, that is just like how I think. You can be so pretty, but if you're mean, it doesn't matter. So beauty on the inside is what matters, guys. Be beautiful on the inside and be kind and be a good person. It's really not that hard to be a good person. I wish more people would realize that. Okay, we're at 383 degrees right now. I usually put it on um, 450. I think that's the highest it goes. Has anybody seen um, that video, <laughs> that cute little girl? that was curling her hair and she's like doing a tutorial and she shows you how, she's like I hold it on for like 30 seconds and then she's like oh. and my hair just broke off and like her whole hair is on the curling wand. First of all, I thought she was adorable and it was a funny video. I think she even went on Ellen but it was so funny. She thought it was, it was cute. She's just like a cute sweet little girl. Okay, so I take a section like this. If you want like a tighter curl, use a smaller section. And like, I have a ton of hair, like a lot of hair. It's thin, but I have a lot of it. And I just twist it like that. I kind of like just feel my hair when the hair starts to feel hot. That's why I let it loose. And I hold it like this to like, so it doesn't just completely fall out. And then that's how I do it. So I'm gonna go around and do that to all of my hair. You can see I just want a really light wave today but if you want like the tighter curls again just do like smaller sections and you don't have to run your fingers through it but this is kind of like the natural wave look that I like so let's go ahead and get started on our makeup so I can look like a human being again I feel like first of all I don't remember the last time I blue dry my hair and I don't remember the last time I used the wand oh look I found a straggler trying to get away oh no i don't have my glove on this is scary got her oh another straggler okay we're good we're good So the first thing I'm going to be doing is putting on this NYX pore filler. And I just use my fingers for this. So 
that I use like this much. Kind of see. I'm just gonna put it, rub it in my fingers first. Kind of like a creamy, tacky material. Material, oh my gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, consistency, again, I'm always going to this spot first. My pores are biggest right here and I just always do this area first. And then I'll do like the T-zone. Again, I'm not a makeup guru and I seriously, I'm just doing this video because you guys asked for it. I don't feel like I'm like an expert makeup artist or anything like that. Again, as you can see, I'm using my fingers, so. <laughs> also, please excuse like the lighting and everything. On my um, baby shower haul video, I had like a really hard time with like the lighting and like showing things in my haul because um, it was dark out and everything like that. And I got so many mean comments like saying I need a new camera, I need to learn how to use lighting, and my ring light is blaring and stuff like that. But please remember, this is, I literally just hit one year being on YouTube, and for the first four months I used my iPhone to record until I made enough money from YouTube to buy my own camera. So I'm still learning, like this is a work in progress, and I'm sorry I'm not a production company, but maybe one day I will be. It's a goal of mine. Okay. <laughs> So next, I am using my Sigma Kabuki brush. This is the Flat Kabuki F80. Uh, all of my brushes, as well as my little um, spongy thing, that's the word for it, right? Spongy thing, um, are all from Sigma. I just really like how gentle their um, brushes are and things like that, and they're really inexpensive compared to some of the other brushes out there. So again, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked below. So I'm going to be using the um, Naked by Urban Decay. This is um, a weightless ultra definition liquid makeup and my color is um, 5.0, my shade. And I just give it a little shake before I use it and this is what it looks like. Um, so I know this is like a little more expensive compared to drugstore but if you have sensitive skin like me this will not break you out and also this lasts forever so you got to think about that when you're comparing drugstore to like the more luxury beauty lines because it really winds up being like the same thing like if you're going to get a cheap mascara that's going to clump up on you in a week and you got to buy a new one get the more expensive one it'll last you longer and it'll look good so just put a couple drops on here I'm going to start roping. I just do it all over. This has been the best for my skin so far. And although it's like lightweight, it is a full coverage, in my opinion. And I got, I have like a lot of red, blotchy spots on my skin. Um, just from it being so dry and things like that. And then I just want to make sure it's like all evenly in. You can kind of feel which spots need more. But I seriously, I just used three little drops of that and that's all I needed. And I'm going to go ahead and get this too because those lines right here are the worst and I'm guilty of them <laughs> myself. Okay. So now, where to put that? Okay. Now I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. Again, a little, little on the pricier side, not super expensive, but this is going to last you 100 years and it's not going to break you out and it's really nice on your skin. So I just do, like, I do three little drops on each side. Sorry, I had to change my memory card. Like that. And guys, I'm not kidding. I don't know how to contour. So leave some good videos below to teach me how to contour and tell me what to use. <laughs> when I was in Vegas, my friend Brianna was so sweet and she did my contour every day because all the girls like have like these like amazing contours and like colored in 
eyebrows and those are two things I'm really bad at is eyebrows and contouring and Brianna was so sweet and would contour my makeup for me every day because literally I stood out in pictures like you can tell so I feel like contouring makes a really big difference in pictures this is also from Sigma I think I said that I'm gonna just like dab it in like this I love this stuff I know a lot of you do too totally worth every penny especially for those mom bags Hi doggies. Hi. Okay. That part is done. Next. What am I doing next? Oh. I'm using this brush. This is Large Powder F30 from Sigma. guy. <laughs> this is my good old fashioned friend from middle school, Physician's Formula Bronzer. Since it's summertime, I'm just putting that powder all over my face and this will kind of act as like my setting powder. And like I said, I don't like to use sunless tanner on my face because it's so sensitive. I literally just put this everywhere. trying to like look in the mirror and look in the camera and it's super awkward there we go okay now I got like a little bit of a tan going on <laughs> and then I'm going to use my again friend since high school physicians formula or middle school this is called blushing or blushing just cracked all over my floor that's really sad. <laughs> okay, so I'm not using this because it just cracked all over my floor. Oh, this is real life, guys. I have another blush that I like, though. So maybe this is a good idea. Um, so you, you can see both of my blushes that I use. That makes me really sad, though. That was new. Um, it's this one. This is Revolution London Ultra Blush Palette. Um... Just use this little guy on the side, or you can use the Physician's Formula blush that's all over the floor. That was called Blushing Rose. I don't know if I said that or not. Okay. <laughs> and then this brush is called Large Angled Contour, but I'm using it for my blush. There's no rules in makeup. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to be using special blush brush every time okay this is just how I do it guys um, next I'm going to go ahead and put my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer this oh no I just stepped in blush <laughs> this is again not the cheapest but I've had this for a year now and it's awesome I just put a little bit on my finger Rub it all in. Okay. And then this is the eyeshadow palette that I've been using most days. And that is this Warm Neutrals Volume 2 from Sigma. Just love these colors. They're beautiful. You can see, like, I stick to the same few colors. What do I want today? I think I want to do bittersweet. And I'm going to use, this is a brush I always use. This is actually called eye shading E55. So I'm putting that in my bittersweet. Again, I'm probably like, breaking all the rules of how you're supposed to do your makeup. But this is my get ready with me. This is how I get ready. <laughs> okay. 
I think I've done like maybe one or two of these before, like when I very first started on my cell phone. But I'll get better with it guys. This is like my first one using a camera and a mirror. Like, I gotta figure out how to do it both ways. It's kind of like blended in more. I like this because it brings out like the blue in my eyes. Um, it brings out lighter color eyes, I feel like. Okay. So now that that is all in, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of beaming on my lid. This one right here. It's like a sparkly pink. and blend it in a little bit more. And then, last but not least, use your finger. And I'm using Humble. Reminds me of Kendrick Lamar, I love Kendrick Lamar. Good old finger, it's the best tool for makeup, guys, I'm telling you. Now this is where I get scared because I do really love this. Um, this is a cosmetics. This is universal universal taupe build a brow. Again, Brianna showed me this in Vegas and I loved it. It's like a cream, and I also got the brush that goes with it, and it's for your brows. And eyebrows scare me, guys, because I don't want to look like Mario from Mario Kart. But I want to look like I have eyebrows. I've never like watched a video on how to do this, but this is how I do mine. Oh gosh, I'm scared to use this as my... I often feel like I need my eyebrows waxed underneath. I have like blonde eyebrows and it's like super blonde hair under here, but... Okay, let me figure out how I can do this. Okay, so I like to do the underline first on each of them. I do this one in the mirror. Okay, so I slightly underline them. Again, my hair is blonde, so I don't want like black eyebrows, just not my, not my look. So now that I have that done, I'm gonna go and do a little bit on the top as well. Like this, just like super lightly. And then I'm just gonna color in with what's left on the brush. I'll never forget like the first day and I'm using this little guy to kind of like blend it in so it's not like super drawn on eyebrows. Um, the first day I came downstairs with like my eyebrows colored in because like I said they're super blonde and I never like really color them in. Chris was like, did you put paint on your eyebrows? <laughs> Gotta love guys, man. But, yeah. Every time, like, I try a new fashion trend, you know, like, I try to be, like, trendy, but I'm, like, super simple. Like, I don't usually, I don't do, like, too much crazy stuff. Uh, I feel like my style is just, like, kind of girl next door, plain Jane. But whenever I try to, like, do something trendy, I always, like, catch Chris, like, what are you wearing? <laughs> what are you, what's makeup that's on your face? He doesn't say that, but I just, I see it. He likes his plain Jane wife. Um, I had a lash studio reach out to me and wanted to do my eyelashes for free in like exchange to like show a picture on Instagram or on my channel. And he is like so against fake eyelashes. He was like, you don't need them. Like you're beautiful the way you are. I love how they look on other people, but he is just so against it, and obviously, like, I want my husband, his opinion is the one that matters to me. So, anyway, this is the eyeliner I use. I always go back to this. Crap, I'm stepping in blush again. Oh my gosh, you should see my feet. They're hot pink. But, um, so here is the, um, Maybelline eyeliner in the blackest black. It's a cream eyeliner. It comes with this little brush. I feel like I don't even really need blush because I'm still so flushed from blow-drying my hair. 
I personally am horrible at liquid eyeliner. Like, it just never comes out good. Um, I'm good at pencil, but it doesn't stay well. And this is like the good in between because it's like a stiff brush. So it's kind of like a pencil. So I'm going to try and do it in here while I step on more blush. I should probably just clean it up, huh? So I always hold my eye, which is probably like, you know, gives you wrinkles, but I can't do it without doing that. Kind of just glide back and forth. And also, I have like a stigmatism in one eye, and so it's like really hard for me to see right now. I really want to get LASIK done. That's just how I do my eyeliner. Ah, I did pretty good for doing it in this. Um, if you've had LASIK um, eye surgery, let me know in the comments below. How was your experience? I'm really scared, but I never wear my glasses and I should. I cannot see good far away, plus I have the stigmatism, so it's really hard. It's going to do like another layer. And then go out. Okay. One eye done. Starting to look like a person. Okay. I should start on the outside here. A little bit more on my brush. I'm going to move you slightly this way. I just feel like this is so much easier to work with than liquid. And it stays better than a pencil, so it's like the perfect in between, and it's super inexpensive. One more layer. Okay. There is on. And then a lot of times, like if I'm like going out or going to be taking pictures and stuff, I do use a pencil. Um, this is just like the CoverGirl ink it. It's my favorite pencil if you are a pencil girl. But I use it for like the inside of my eye. And I know this people hate this, but this is also like, I've been doing it since I've been doing my makeup. I just close my eye and let it do, go like that. And I just feel like it like brings out your eyes like a little bit more. Okay, so there's that. And then now for my mascara. I got this um, super nice expensive eyelash curler from the Dollar Tree. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> And then I'm using the It Superhero Mascara. This has got to be my favorite mascara to date. And you know what? So many of you have recommended it to me. And a lot of you ask which one I'm wearing. And this is it. I love it. This is it. And it is it. <laughs> what you look about? Also, you can always just rub it in your blonde hair if you want. I'm trying so hard not to do my mascara like that's usually how I do it but since I'm on camera I'm trying to keep my mouth closed. Why does that happen? It's like a natural response. Wait I forgot to curl this eyelash. Oh, oh well, I'll have one straight and one curled.
Okay, now I'm just going to go and do the bottom and then probably put a little bit more up top. Bunny. I'm just going to wet my Q-tip to clean up under my eye and my puppy dog's playing downstairs. Chris is probably like, what is she doing up there? This honestly guys, if you're not talking to the camera and trying to do it in here, it usually only takes me 10 minutes to do my makeup. Max. Seriously. That's that's the honest truth. And then to finish my look, I am using, this is the NYX lip liner in the color pale pink. Also guys, I do not have lip injections. People ask me that. I think it's a nice compliment, but I don't. I did just get an offer for uh, Botox in my forehead from a local company to like promote them. And one thing I am self-conscious about is like forehead wrinkles, but I just don't think I could do it. And Chris is like so against any of that. I mean, again, I think it looks good. It's just not for me yet at least never say never that's on now i'm using the butter gloss by nyx also i love them this is creme brulee this is my favorite favorite nyx color actually i love like i love all of the butter glosses but i just feel like it's just like a neutral nice light color it doesn't show up that good on this lighting, but I just feel like it does like bring out a tan and stuff like that. So this is my final look. I'm going to go ahead and show you my comfy, cute pregnancy outfit. And there we go. Stay tuned. I'm going to get dressed. <laughs> so I'm dressed. I'll show you my outfit and shoes in a second. But I'm finishing off with a native deodorant. This is just like a paraben aluminum free deodorant. And then, I don't even know if they still make this anymore. I keep finding it on Amazon. I have to go to the store to like smell similar scents. But this is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. Oh my god, it's my favorite scent in the entire world. I'm going to be really sad if they stop making it. I even wore this on my wedding day. I've been wearing this perfume for over four years now. <laughs> if I like something, I really like something. Also, I have this cute little bracelet on. This is from Roxbox. Um, I love Roxbox. I don't know if any of you are familiar with it, but it's basically like um, a membership where they send you like three pieces of jewelry and you get to wear it as long as you want. Send it back, pick new jewelry, which is great for me because I'm not somebody, as far as like jewelry and clothing goes, like my style changes frequently and I like just trying new pieces and I don't like clutter. So I don't want to have like a bunch of jewelry in my closet. So these are perfect. Let me try and get this up close. It's really pretty. They have all kinds of... It's trying to focus on my face. There you go. They have all kinds of jewelry. So you like make a wish list and then they send you three pieces based on your style. And it's just really cool. It's like, I like being surprised each month. Okay. Now... This is the only piece of jewelry that I'm wearing in my wedding ring. Um, it's Sunday today and I just kind of want to have like a relaxed look kind of day. <laughs> Let me show you my outfit. So these are my shoes. I have them in every color. They're just great for summer and pregnancy and motherhood in general. And then this dress, I really need to clean my mirror. Sorry guys. <laughs> 
this dress um, is from Old Navy and I also got this dress in every color because pretty much it's like putting on a giant t-shirt and saying you got dressed. But I'm ready. I look like a human. It's nice guys, seriously, I've been sick for so long, it feels good to get ready. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and also I want to show you one more thing. And that is um, the Colleen Rothschild Daily Defense um, SPF 25, it's like a light liquid um, sunscreen, but this is really good on your face if you have sensitive skin, so um, I did not put it on today because it's not sunny outside, it's not really that nice of a day, the sun keeps going in and out, but if it does get sunny, I said I'm trying to prevent more wrinkles from happening so also you can see my hair fell out a lot like the curl so at this point I do like just like this little wave that's going on but if I wanted it to get curlier I would go ahead and do the smaller sections so anyway I'll shut up now because this was the chattiest get ready with me ever let me know if you like this video and if you want to see more I could always be the one you want to call when it's cold outside I will always be the that's right here standing by your side open up your heart and let me in i promise not to break you i promise